The cassava project was introduced in Nakasongola district with the aim of improving the local cassava crop. This was achieved through using new, high-yielding and disease-resistant cassava varieties. The overall purpose was to improve the incomes and food security of the smallholder farmers. The farmers were doing a, a, number of, uh, a number of things or projects. They were growing sweet potato, growing cassava itself. But the kind of cassava we are growing we are, was not productive to them and they wouldn't even be able to produce for home consumption. Farmers in this area demanded uh, that there should be an improvement in cassava because originally they were cassava growers but using the old cassava cultivars which was not high yielding and was affected by cassava mosaic, the virus disease, uh, which is transmitted by the a small fly called the white fly. Uh, actually, it flies uh, from one affected cassava plant to uh, unaffected, and then it spreads in that way. We decided to join this project of cassava uh, after seeing these are our local cassava varieties attracted by this virus, cassava mosaic. Then this group had a new variety, like this TME14, Nase 12, uh, and other new varieties which are not affected by this, vi this virus. But the yield of the local varieties, the yield of, of the local varieties ranges from 5 to 15 tons per hectare. But when we introduce the, the improved varieties, the yield increases from 25 to 40 tons per hectare on good management practices. First of all, uh, before a farmer thinks of planting, uh, or planting cassava, he must prepare land. Uh, after plowing, a, a farmer should get the source where to get the planting material. And that planting material must be of the quality we like. The cassava stems are cut into uh, small pieces of plants, plantlets, and of about uh, six inches. Then they start cutting those holes. Those holes, the depths of the holes can be about five centimeters. Then uh, other farmers, the helpers, start dropping in those uh, pl uh, planting materials, the cassava cuttings. Then after that, they, they close, and then that means the farmer has already finished planting. At around eight months, this cassava is ready. If a farmer is bad off, he can start eating the cassava tubers at that month. We recommend that farmers can wait until cassava has reached one year. That's when I can benefit a lot. Uh, if he wants to take to market like at the factory, or if he wants to sell it fresh to any other buyer, that's uh, when cassava has reached uh, the good eco economical value. After harvesting cassava, I chip it, and when the chips are dry, I take it to the mill machine in Nakasongola. Then I get the flour, and when I sell it, I get money. The partners, first of all, Nakasongola is a local NGO. So the first pattern of ours is Nakasongola Agricultural Department. Nakasongola Local Council. We have uh, uh, research stations like Namulonge. At times, we got also assistance from Kawanda. That is Kari. There is a Nari and then Kari. And even farmers are our partners because we wouldn't do the project without them. The moment we joined the project, uh, the changes we found, now we have food security in the place. And even our homes, we have food. And uh, we sell, we sell the, the tubers 
to these other people, like these cattle keepers. They used to come at our homes and they buy. Farmers were interested because we realized that whenever you would say that we are going to train 50 people, you would find that you are getting a training covering almost 70. Even those who are unselected, you would find them there. 50 to 60. At times, 55. You say that they, they wanted the project. The cassava I was growing before the project was not enough and I had no animals. Now that I have started the project, I have animals from the seeds and I am able to take my children to school. The, the problem we encountered when we are implementing the project, there are a number of them. First of all, I would begin we, we, with the area being dry, we have a problem of drought. This area actually is affected by drought very much. The drought starts around November and ends around April. There's about uh, five months without rain. That means there will be no production. Also, the area being dry, we have a problem of termites. At times, if it shines for two weeks, there is that onset of the termites destroying the planted stem inside. Firstly, we have the problem of no tractors to assist us. So we have to use hard hose and secondly, the market is very poor. The demand is low because there are many farmers growing cassava. The market depends on the diversity of the products that they make. So now that we are teaching them to make many products, and the market is coming. The two main achievements of this project, one is food security. Farmers are the food secure now. You visit the farmers, they have food. Then the second one, farmers have money. They have income. That is a good achievement because our project targets food security and increased income at household level.